This is a reading of thunder rolling in the mountains. Afterward. Sound of running feet reached Sitting Bull's camp where she found White Feather, who had left Bear Paws with White Bird's band. Sound of running feet stayed with Sitting Bull for about a year. Then she returned to Lapway, where she took the name Sarah and married George Moses, another Nimi Poo, who lived on the reservation. She never saw her father again. Chief Joseph and the 400 Nimi Poo, who surrendered at Bear Paws, spent the winter at Fort Leavenworth in Kansas. The land set aside for them lay between a lagoon and the river, and sickness swept through the camp. Many fell ill with malaria. Within a few months, one quarter of the Nimi Poo were dead. The next July, they were taken through the summer heat to reservation lands in what is now, what is, what today is Oklahoma. Sorry. The next July, they were taken through the summer heat to reservation lands in what today is Oklahoma. The U.S. Army had stripped the Nimi Poo of their only source of wealth, their horses. And so they lived in poverty. Nearly 50 more died in the heat of what the Nimi Poo called Ikish Pa, the hot place. A year later, the Nimi Poo were moved to another part of Oklahoma, where they spent six years under terrible conditions. Housing was inadequate and medicine virtually non existent. Almost every baby born during these six years died. By now, most of the children were dead, including Bending Willow. Not until 1885 did any of the Nimi Poo return to the Lapway Reservation in Idaho. That spring, all who were willing to become Christians were allowed to return. But Chief Joseph, along with other Nimi Poo who refused to embrace a religion they felt had betrayed them, was sent to the Colville Reservation in Eastern Washington State. Joseph would never see, would never again see the snowy peaks, the blue lake and the green meadows of Wallowa. He spent the rest of his life at Colville. When he died in 1904, the doctor listed the cause of death as a broken heart.